question for Triple H. A hypothet. Yeah. Okay. Hypothetical scenario: disparity between parties in value placed on sex slash sexual activity due to preference, not because one loves the other less, etc. Assume relationship is otherwise healthy. How to navigate from here? Hypothetical scenario: given because whilst anonymous is in the dating scene, he is not currently in relationship insecurities based on past relationships. Yes, anonymous is generally the less aroused one. Not by choice, not because I haven't explored enough. I have, I think. 20 year olds, male, male bisexual. Postscriptum, I only found your show today and already watched all of it. Holy shit. There's no way. That's like 10 hours, no? Yeah, maybe just the one episode. Maybe. Please, please keep at it. I have already learned so much. I'm desperate to learn more. Thank you so much. These words mean everything, yeah. so thank you. Oh, I don't know, like, that just, that's yeah. what keeps us going. So, incredibly, thank you so much. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, been there. Still there. I mean, I can start if you like. Please. I generally have a lower sex drive than my partners. As a thing. Like, it's pretty much consistent with all my partners. Mmm, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, like, it's fine and you will find people that are okay with that because sex isn't everything it, to some people some people it is and that means you're in, in, incompatible with those people if it's the most important thing to them yes you might want to explore what your love language is i know that sounds really hokey but it's actually very interesting but so i wonder okay and this is the terrible question to ask you feel free not to respond to it is there anything oh my god hit me anything that your partners could have done to me to fucking change it that's so dark because i've been on both sides and i'm thinking mm. about it like i don't think so i actually don't like i think the problem with me the problem with me is that i find it very very interesting exciting getting to know someone and seeing their like come face and all of that stuff and once i know that i'm like okay like <laughs> The sex in and of itself is like a fine thing to do, but honestly, I'd rather like cuddle and watch a movie. I'd rather like. I'm just really lazy, I think. Like, I don't mind having sex, I'll do it, but like, once it's not that process of exploration, it's more something I do because my partner wants to and I don't really mind. So you've got neighbors. You've got neighbors. Do you think I should say something? Yeah, so I think it's, yeah, it's like, I will have sex with my partners because they are, like, I honestly, like, six months ago, I was Googling whether or not I'm asexual, like, that was the thing I was doing. And I don't think I am, because, but then I also read a lot of stuff on, like, um, like, sexuality forums and stuff about how a lot of asexual people do, in fact, have sex to please their partners, but they just don't really get anything out of it. But I do get something out of it, I actually enjoy it when I'm doing it, but it's just, it's not a priority for me in my relationships. Unless it's that initial exploration stage, and yeah, I don't know, like, so I kind of feel you, and I also think it's fine, and I think you will find partners who are compassionate and understanding of that. I also will not say, though, because I don't know if this is true, I'm still young, I still haven't dated that many people, that that is the case forever. I don't know whether it's people I'm dating or whether it's me, I don't know that. But I do know that it's been consistent in pretty much all my relationships, so, hard, hard to say. Well, I've been on both sides. And sadly, I think I'm. It's not a good answer at all. But for me, it had to be a change from the partner. And that's kind of dark, actually, come to think about it, right? Yeah, that's in, perfect. You communicated your needs; they changed, and now it's better. Yeah, but is that is that is that coercion a little bit? Mm, depends what it was. Well, I mean, it, it was really just like be more dominant. Hmm. But is that if they don't mind that? No, you, I think it's completely okay to bring up something that would like make the sexual situation like more pleasing for you. That's what like communication is all about. If they well, say yeah, I'm they not comfortable with that, yeah, then exactly. Don't do there it. was not like that. Yeah. No, they were like, okay, I'm interested in exploring that. Let's see how it goes, mm. and it's been it's been good. Um, yeah. And yes, I don't know. Like it's just sort of you always feel bad when it's it comes boils down to like. It's not me too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I don't know whether it's not me. It's well, you or I put it's... so much fucking pressure on myself to like stay the same way, or, like or a certain weight, or like like 
put certain clothes or not put in certain clothes that I feel like I don't not to say that they don't do that too but that's not even they being the one person as such but like I don't know something is in me that is just like I put myself so, under so much pressure to be sexy to a, a, the other that I kind of want them to make an effort too which is kind of yeah. bad again like I'm being such a stereotypical fucking that's probably what my partner thinks about me though it's like why is she not making an effort oh shut up I think I think you are just my existence. Look at you. Look at you. Like, but like, there are times when people I've been dating have like, you know, wanted to have sex and I've not been interested. Like, but that's not. You think maybe? I don't know though. I don't know because it's it's a continual pattern. It's a continual pattern when I'm with someone for a longer period of time. It just is. Okay. Okay. And that's why. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't mean. Like, I feel really bad that I'm now even questioning that because that's my own personal experience. So I shouldn't. That could also be different experiences. Yeah. I. Yeah. I also just don't know. Like, because yeah, I haven't actually dated that many people. Yeah. I guess in my experience, like, the more you do it, the closer you are, the one heartbreaking, well, I mean, there's been many heartbreaking situations in my life as such, but one of them was when uh, it became a long distance thing mm. after, like, a couple of years, and and it's because we couldn't just, like, have that really active sex life that we did until then. I think that was one of the reasons why we broke up in the end, because we didn't have that connection. Just heartbreaking. Yeah. And so yeah, for me it's like yeah, as I say, super, super fucking important as such. And yes, I've also been on the other side of things as such, where, um, yeah, I kind of wanted to do it like all the time, <laughs> and and the other, I don't know, had different commitments, interests. Um, I don't know. I think. I think. There was a certain. Yeah, yeah, and and that sucked that we didn't last long. <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, it's about finding the balance. Like, if you think there are things that would turn you on more that you could try, and you haven't been able to voice it with your partner, try and find someone with whom you can voice that. If it's like a kink thing, there's fat life. If it's a different thing, there's like conversations. If you just have a low sex drive, either find another partner with a low sex drive. There's plenty of them. There's also plenty, like a huge and thriving asexual community. If that's where you think you might be at. But, or you can be like me and have my partner's constantly mildly sexually frustrated, but also we have a great relationship and I get what I want from it. But the thing, okay, I think this is it. I think this is where boys dance, right? What I said, like, it didn't last long because, like, I wasn't assured that the relationship was fine otherwise. That, like, basically what it was that in the end it broke apart not because of that, it was because of other things. But I convinced myself for a long time that it was that, I think, or whatever. But, like, it, if I would have reassur- been reassured that actually everything else is fine because it wasn't we like you know we broke up as such but um, perhaps what is what is happening is down to, it's down to you to reassure your partner perhaps that you fucking still like yeah. love them and all that, or, yes. or whatever whether you love them or not but you know like that you're still incredibly into them and they are you thrive for being with them in a relationship yeah. yeah and that's what I always do with my partners is literally the whole like it's not you it's me thing but I mean it like yes. and it's like nothing to do with how I feel about you it's nothing to do with how much I enjoy spending time with you it's just that I don't have a particularly high sex drive and like for some people like Mariam it seems like sex for you is a very important part of like maintaining and establishing a deep emotional connection well for me that is manifested in different ways more through like I don't know like lying on the couch both of us reading our books together is like a really meaningful thing for me in terms of establishing a deep emotional connection so again it just depends on what for you and your partner is the way in which you express love and affection and how you can either have someone in which they've matched or have them as different things but understand that the, the love and care and affection is there despite the fact that you manifest it in slightly different ways yeah. again it's just not, it's such a difficult conversation right again when I, when I was in that space where I wasn't necessarily like that turned on by my partner or whatnot like I would still like daydream and think about how could they approach me for me to be that and that's really bad actually it would be like if you only did like that routine or those things then I would get to that point and when they wouldn't like and then they would be like and this is really I know this is actually really bad this is really quite intimate as such but like I would be annoyed when they don't do that so hence I would want them less mm. it's actually really dark and really bad like because you create this I mean again we have a conversation eventually and that's where you know we arrive to the conclusion where it all works out as such but I mean not yeah I would be lying if I said that it was it was a, a, a that I didn't like desire them I just wanted them to like approach me in a certain yeah. manner I mean, I have that too, though, to be honest. Like, even with everything I've just said, I'll have a certain, like, flash 
but I'm like, oh my god, if you came in right now and ravished me, I would just collapse. And I wish that, like, and I always have that, but it's like, again, they can't read my mind. Like, they can't know that, right, in this second I'm horny, but like, you know, 38 seconds later I'm not. Like, and it's, and actually I know that oftentimes, like, this is in no way an anti consent thing, but oftentimes once I start having sex with someone, I get really into it. But it's getting to that bit of like, oh, I'm kind of tired, or I kind of need a toilet, or like, oh, I just put my clothes on, or whatever. It's the getting from there to like, actually, yeah, having sex is fucking great and it's super fun and I really like it. Mm. It takes actually sometimes someone persuading me yeah. that I want to do it before I do it, which is obviously something you can only do if you really have established trust, etc. Mm. But yeah. I think I've also learned that through the years as such, like, a, um, remembering how that feeling when you're coming kind of feels like to then put it in a box mm. and to remember, like, I don't really know why I'm saying no to this necessarily now because it's gonna be fucking amazing i just need to remember so that and you kind of again it only came with experience as such where i learned to put to, to put that thing in like in a chest you know that's i would i would i would carry with me that's actually a really good point and i think i could do well with remembering that like the remembering the fact that yeah when we're having sex and i'm like oh my god oh my god, not oh my god even, it's so good not even the having sex bit but like the orgasm mm. And also when they orgasm, because I get such a high yes. of my partner's yes. coming. Yes. Like, it's so good. I just, yeah, it's just like, yeah, it's trying to remember those things when you're not, like, in the mood or whatever. Because yeah. it, it yeah. hopefully it does get to that. And even if it doesn't, also, like, sex is also incredible, not necessarily with someone coming as well. Yeah, like, I mean, no, definitely. Obviously, I that's like... I don't come from pension of sex most of the time, like, ever, actually. Oh, I think I've, I've already mentioned this yeah. in the show as well. I think I've done it three times. So yeah. Yeah. Pretty sick. Well, yeah. So, but you know, it's true. And I feel like for me, I personally, I need to take more initiative when I'm in the mood to actually go for it, rather than like hoping that they can read my mind. And you know, yeah. So yeah, communication. Basically, they make sure that they know that it's not. It's not. A yeah, thing. that's a huge thing that you need to do. That I do. Or that a lot of people do. It is a them thing, and so find a way to communicate. If it is a them thing and you don't want to be with them anymore, then leave them. If it's a them thing but there's other ways of like dealing with it, then communicate that, yeah. I think it's fine to have like, you know, kinks or ways in which you want to like explore your sex life that, that you can both like to your partner. Yeah, as well. And also like come to think of it like um so much of like our boredom with sex comes with the as you said, establishing a routine, right? Mm. So what about taking it to other spaces, you know? Like whether there are times of day, whether they're literally different flats or whether it's yeah. outside the flat whether it's in the nature That's you know super like huge for me actually like hotels, said, the whole sexy. thing about <laughs> yeah my whole thing about like oh okay once i know i know and like i don't mean that really in general i still like having sex with my partners but it takes me to the box space which you need to get but yeah changing it up a bit helps a lot but also yeah you might just not have a high sex drive and there are communities and people and places that you can explore that yeah